How many of you enjoy going to Chinese restaurants or Asian restaurants? Or uh, Japanese ones. Or Japanese or any of those kinds. Yeah. Most of you like? <laughs> How many of you would believe me if I told you there was no soy sauce on what you're eating? Oh, really? <laughs> it tastes like there's something like that on it, doesn't it? <laughs> it's a secret that I'm going to be sharing with you today. <laughs> well, we're going to take a trip to uh, Asia. I have to say I'm not Asian myself, nor have I ever been there myself. Um, but uh, when I was a teenager, my brother got a fascination with Asia. And uh, he started learning Korean. Uh, he made a lot of friends with Korean and Chinese and Malaysian uh, young people who were also teenagers about our age. And um, they started sharing with us all these strange things that uh, they liked to eat. And of course, I hadn't had most of them. I thought they were very strange. One of the strangest things that they introduced um, my brother and I to, I've got some where my box went, was something called seaweed. <laughs> Uh, this one here is called uh, sushi nori, and it's actually what they use to make the sushi out of. Um, if any of you would like to try one, you're welcome to. <laughs> I will leave it up here. Uh, but what this is, is this is plain nori that's been roasted, and it's very thin. Uh, it has no oil or salt or seasonings of any sort on it. But uh, you can see how paper thin it is. Oh, we got a plate over here. You're welcome to uh, have whatever you want. You see how thin it is? It's like paper. And uh, of course, my brother and I were like, it smells really strange, it tastes really strange, uh, what do you do with it? And uh, they started showing us how to uh, eat it with stir fry or noodles or, or uh, wrap it up like a burrito, put whatever you want inside it, eat it like a burrito. Um, Avocado goes really good in it. Salad goes really good in it. Um, but anyway, that was uh, the first thing. And for me, I, I have never in appreciated the smell of seafood or fish. And of course, seaweed reminds you of that smell. And uh, at first I was like, there's no way in my entire life I'll ever learn to like this stuff because it just smells too much like fish. And uh, so I started learning, I started forcing myself to learn to like it with my nose blood. And after a year, I learned. <laughs> now I love it. <laughs> but uh, everybody else I know, they like it first try. I don't know how they do it. But anyway, um, I wasn't so fortunate. So then uh, my brother started learning about Asian noodles. And there's a lot of different kinds of Asian noodles that you'll find at restaurants in different places. One is what you're eating. And they're called green bean threads. They look like this. Uh, they actually have a kind that you can get at Walmart. Uh, the ones at Walmart are half green beans and half cornstarch. Um, <laughs> they also make these same things out of rice. Uh, they make them out of sweet potato. They make them out of all kinds of different ingredients. Um, they make them out of mung beans. This one is green bean. And this is actually what you're eating, is this one right here. Then there's a... Uh, Another kind, it's called a dry noodle. I don't know, you can't see this one quite as well through the package. They make thin and thick noodles, and they're more almost like square noodles. And uh, these are more common that you'll find in Chinese restaurants. Uh, then they also have That's about saba noodles. Uh, they make them in buckwheat or they make them in regular wheat. Uh, of course, they are not gluten free, and neither are these, but of course, these are. Um, I can, uh, this one is open so I can show you actually what the saba noodles look like. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see those in there. They're more darker, they're a little more, they've got more texture to them, they're more hearty, more filling. They're um, great, but they're right? very str they're a stronger flavor, and they work great with stir fried vegetables. In fact, all these do. Um, then 
is what they call a rice sticks. These are rice noodles. Uh, it's just made out of rice. That's what they make them out of. Um, these take a little longer to cook than the really thin threads do, uh, but they have more texture and they're also very excellent. Uh, then they have another kind that's similar to those green bean threads, but they call it uh, vermicelli. And vermicelli is what they call it. And uh, it's also made out of mung beans or green beans or rice. They have different kinds. Um, that's just a few of the different kinds of noodles that you will find uh, in Asian stores or in Asian restaurants. Um, and sometimes you'll find different ones at Walmart or your grocery stores in the Asian section. Um, then, of course, there's the noodle that we're all familiar with, and that's the chow mein noodles, right? Mm -hmm. Basically, what chow mein noodles are is they are a type of wheat noodle like this that has been fried. And so that's what makes it crispy. And uh, that's basically what your chow mein noodles are. I prefer not to use them because of the fact they're fried. But uh, they use less oil in them than they do uh, when you have chips, so it gives you a better option for crust. There are other types of seaweed. Um, you'll find a dried seaweed. This is not like your nori, uh, where it's you know nice and paper thin. This is a thick seaweed. And uh, I've got one open here so you can actually see what it looks like here. It's very thick. You can see how thick it is. <laughs> this is what they use when they make seaweed soup or seaweed salads. Um, or they'll just uh, tear them up into little shreds and throw them in stir fry with the vegetables. Um, if you like the seaweed flavor, it gives a very strong seaweed flavor. And it tastes really good. Um, it smells very strong too. You either like it or you hate it. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> There's no in between. <laughs> so that's a little bit more about seaweed. Um, I do not recommend just eating the seaweed plain because it is stronger than your nori. Uh, this is the kind made to use in recipes or cooking. Let's see, did I bring anything else with me? Yes, I did. How many of you have uh, heard of spring rolls? I wondered about making them, but I know I never would. But I love them. I love them. <laughs> well, wait, no, I'm just saying spring rolls. I'm thinking of just egg rolls. Okay, there's a difference between egg rolls and spring rolls. Um, the major difference, egg rolls actually have egg in the wrappers that they wrap it in, and there's egg mixed in with the vegetables inside. That's an egg roll. A spring roll is basically the same idea, only there's no egg. So there are two kinds of spring roll wrappers. Uh, one is a rice wrapper. And uh, this is what they look like. They come in, of course, all sizes. But uh, would you believe it? This is a spring roll wrapper. <laughs> this is the rice one. They also have a wheat one. Um, the rice ones and the wheat ones are completely different, make completely different kinds of spring rolls. Um, the wheat ones you'll find in a, the wheat wrappers you'll find in the freezer section. Uh, they come frozen. And they're made out of wheat. They're very thin, almost like pastry fi phyllo dough. It's very similar. Um, but you pull it out of the freezer 30 minutes before you're ready to use it, and you peel off each one by one and roll it up however you want to roll it up, and you bake it in the oven. These, however, can be eaten raw or baked, either one, uh, because it's made of rice that's already been cooked. <laughs> How on earth could I roll this thing up? Any yeah. ideas? No, so if I try, it breaks, right? right? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? Get it wet. Yes, let's try. I want to show you what it does. It's so much fun. Um, can I borrow you for a second? Can uh, let's see. Should I do? Let's do a bowl. This will work better. If I give you a bowl, will you put some warm water in it? These are so much fun to make. And the nice thing is, you can make one or two if you want. They require no baking. 
Uh, and you can eat the rest of your store fry however you want. <laughs> I like them. If I have a big crowd, I'll make one per person. That's their special treat, and then they, the rest they just eat this. <laughs> but uh, yeah, when when she comes out with the water, I'm gonna show you what happens to these when they put in water. Now, I'm sticking this in the water. Somebody count uh, ten seconds. I've been about ten seconds. Okay. Okay, it's just starting now. Look at that. All right, we're going to put it in for another 10 seconds. See what happens. Ten seconds up. It's almost done. Let's do it for 15 more seconds, and that should do it. I would just do it for the whole thing, but I like you to watch the stage and you can't see my bowl. So. <laughs> 15 seconds up. All right, look at this. Okay, I'm gonna stick it on a plate. I'm gonna put a little bit of this in it. Obviously, I usually do it with full circles. Roll it up. Works a lot better with full circles, but anyway. An Asian market in Knoxville. Mm. All right, look what that did. Wow. <laughs> the it's paper. All right, now I'm going to put my noodles in it. That's going to be too much. It's too good to stop, huh? It's good. All right. Good. Now I can get it the way it's supposed to be. Oh, goodness. Bye -bye, that cat, Mom. There, you, there go. you are. Does that look better? <laughs> and that's ready to eat. Just like that. Or if you want to, you'd rather have it hot and crispy or really chewy. Um, brush a tiny bit of oil on it and bake it. There we go. Anyway, those are a lot of fun. Like I said, you can do one or two and then eat the rest as is. However you want, just stick it in your water and make sure you don't leave it in too long or it'll disappear. Now, is that like that for a while stiff? Yeah, they do. Yeah, see? This, this one's stuck together nicely. I can do anything I want to it now. It's it's holding its shape however I fold it. And if you don't like the little tiny ones, you can get them. And the big ones. So you can do monster size spring rolls if you want with us. Once again, these are gluten-free, which makes it really nice. Um, and it makes a great addition to your meal, adds a little special touch to it without, you know, five minutes of extra time.